West Suburban Fenwick High School is still trying to go to the football state championship even after they lost in the semifinal. Referees admit they did make a bad call during a game on Saturday between Fenwick and Plainfield North, but IHSA officials say it cannot be reversed. Fenwick was up 10-7 in the fourth quarter when the quarterback was flagged for intentional grounding. One free play was given to Plainfield North with no time left on the clock. They scored a field goal to tie, goal to tie the game and went on to beat Fenwick. That's the backstory. Fenwick school attorneys will now meet with a Cook County judge tomorrow morning after filing a lawsuit hoping to overturn the result of the semifinal. Okay, now our Elizabeth Matthews joins us now after spending the day in Plainfield to get that side of the story. Elizabeth, what's the latest? Don, while Fenwick goes to court, it is business as usual for the Plainfield North football team. As of right now, they are heading to the state championship on Saturday. Students and supporters are trying to focus on that rather than that controversy. Plainfield North High School football players are preparing to go to state, and so are the students and supporters. The whole school is so hype about it. Like, everyone is like, Going like everyone's getting their tickets is all over social media. Even though there may be controversy clouding their trip to state, it's an exciting time for Plainfield and the boys on the team. Not caring what other people are saying, just like they just want to like make it there. Like they feel like they deserved it. The controversy, an admittedly bad call made by referees during the semifinal on Saturday between Plainfield North and Fenwick High School, gave Plainfield the ball with no time left on the clock. Plainfield North came from behind to win the game. Illinois High School Association says that decision cannot be reversed. Fenwick disagrees and hopes a judge will side with them. It's an unfortunate call, but you're going to go to court over every single thing that changes. Plainfield North High School officials didn't want to talk on camera on Tuesday, but did release a statement. Quote, we certainly empathize with Fenwick and their supporters. Both teams played an excellent game Saturday, and Fenwick should be proud. However, human error is often part of athletic contests. PNHS won in overtime. The teams might not agree on who won the game, but one thing is for sure, most feel bad for all involved. And I do have uh, some kind of mixed emotions. I mean, I'd like to see Plainfield go on to the state. I, the controversy and you know what happened uh, makes it a little hollow if they do go. Fenwick will be in court tomorrow at 9 a.m. We will keep you updated on this developing story tomorrow. The state final is Saturday against East St. Louis in Champaign. Don? All right, Elizabeth Matthews, thank you. Trying to find an opening. Can he get to the edge? He is into the end zone. Plainfield North will go to the 7 8 title game. This was the stunning end in overtime, sending Plainfield North to the state championship game this weekend instead of Fenwick. But hours later, the Illinois High School Association admitted there had been an officiating mistake during regulation, an unjustified intentional grounding call that allowed Plainfield North to tie up the game despite no time on the clock. Outrage has been simmering ever since. Fenwick appealed to the IHSA, which expressed regret and sincere apologies, but cited a bylaw stating that the decisions of game officials are final, even if they are in error. This morning, lawyers will ask a judge to rule that the game should have ended in a 10 to 7 Fenwick win and that overtime should never have happened. The state championship game against East St. Louis High School will happen uh, on Saturday. And the Fenwick team, they held practice yesterday just in case of a court win here.